At last. Did you see what's happening outside? Red Mountain rumbles louder and more frequently. The sky grows dark, and worst of all, the people are beginning to notice. Soon I'll have to muster the Ordinators to keep them from the palace doors. In part, Lord Vivek is... not well. I won't allow his followers to see him in this state. He continues to lose energy, and it's becoming difficult for him to maintain the realm in his usual fashion. Now, what did your investigations uncover? I'll review these documents and present your findings to Lord Vivek. I was against bringing you into this investigation, but I was wrong. Thank you for aiding us. You should go see Lord Vivek now. He's been asking about you. I'll be along shortly. Very well. Tell me what you learned at each of the locations, and let's see what conclusions we can come to. Berelzar faithfully served Sotha Seal. He's as loyal to the Tribunal as I am. He would never intentionally harm Lord Vivek. But that tool he mentioned. Perhaps one of the priests Vivek sent away could search the temple archives for more information. Lord Vivek doesn't want his followers to see him in such a weakened state. Only you, Canon Levuel, and myself are permitted into his palace now. Speaking of the palace, Lord Vivek wants to see you when we're done here. So your notes say, and this Saren assisted you. Interesting. Most Ashlanders want nothing to do with the Tribunal. Even so, they rarely become aggressive. I'd say this Chodala bears watching. If we can spare it, I'll send an armager to Aldrin. Interesting theory. Perhaps Chordala's staff can steal Vivek's energy. I have a hard time imagining how an Ashlander could accomplish such a feat. Lord Vivek said the draining has grown more intense since you left. It doesn't look well. From what you discovered, I dare say there may be a correlation between the narcotic relic and the tool barrels I'll mention. And it seems the Ashlander themes are connected to Chordala. Your evidence points to a clear conclusion. So it appears. Lord Vivek's doing his best not to complain, but I can see how much the draining of his energy has cost him. Just seeing you again should improve his mood considerably. And the progress you made with your investigations? Outstanding! visitors today. My lord, please let me send for aid. Perhaps one of the healers can help you. Pain is best tolerated in private. As I have written in the 37th ballot, there must be something I can do. You can call the Archcanon. He should hear the news our friend brings us. The river drains into the sea as my divinity flows out of me. Hmm. Need some work. As you can see, I continue to lose energy, and it has made me somewhat agitated. Have you made any progress toward discovering the source of my discomfort? An Ashlander? That seems unlikely, but I trust your instincts. We need to find out more about this Chodala and the ancient enemy that aids him. Take this. Another token of my appreciation. And look, 
Here comes the arch cannon now. My lord, the Outlander may have actually discovered something. After further examination of the documents you brought back, I have to agree with your assessment. The Ashlander Chodler has somehow siphoned divine energy away from Lord Vivek. Not exactly. But now that we know that the affliction isn't natural, we can work toward a solution. One that probably involves Chodler's staff. How the Ashlander got his hands on Sothasil's tool and turned it into a weapon is beyond me, though. Eventually, but we need to be cautious. If Chodler is as respected as you say, Attacking him would start a war we can't afford to partake in. Go to Aldred and talk to his sister, Saren. I don't trust her either, but she worked with you before. Get to Aldred and locate Saren. She needs to tell us more about Chodala and then help us acquire his staff. Without it, we can't restore Vivek. Meanwhile, I need to placate the populace. The people grow concerned over Vivek's continuing isolation. Didn't we cover this? Let me refresh your memory. Lord Vivek suffers stoically as his divine energy drains away. Neither my administrations nor his defenses have been sufficient to plug the hole, so we've isolated him to keep panic to a minimum. If we knew for certain, we wouldn't be sending you to make a deal with a heretical Ashlander, now would we? Chodala must have something to do with Vivek's energy loss but the how and why remain a mystery. That's why I must examine that staff. Everything you uncovered suggests the staff and Sotha Sil's missing tool are one and the same, and it's obviously connected to Chodala's newfound powers. Bring it back here so I can study it. The solution resides in the staff. I'm sure of it. Experience, Outlander. Experience. I have seen the Dunmer rage against the gods at the least provocation. When they realize that Vivek is ill, that his powers are failing, they'll weep and gnash their teeth like frightened children. The people don't handle the infirmities of their deities very well, especially when those infirmities could foreshadow Red Mountain's eruption or pretend the moonlits fall from the sky. Once such fear ignites, it spreads like wildfire. They try not to think about them at all. The Ashlanders are savages. They refuse to acknowledge the supremacy of Lord Vivek in the Tribunal, instead putting their faith in the despicable Daedra. They're heretics, pure and simple. The Ashlanders hold the superstitions the way Quama protect their eggs. If they really consider Chodala to be the Nereverin, then any action you take against him will enrage the tribes. Talk to Saren and see if she can suggest an alternative course.
Oh, don't mind the big...
problem. Red Mountain. 